So today we are having a new head app that is answer relevance. This is a newly published head app and this head app we have to check the relevance of the answer. This is different from the CAQ answer relevance. Okay. So let's start the work. Head app code 61349 and the price you can see 3 cent per hit and the 10 second per hit is a minimum time to submit a hit. So it's very good timing and we can earn good amount from this head app. This setup is a little bit not easy. I will tell you later on why and I will explain you how can you make it easy. Okay, first go for the qualification. This is the first part of that. You can read the guideline if you required, but I, I will explain you in this video. So let's to confirm. Uh, you have two qualification attempts. Remember only two attempts and there will be five hits in the qualification test. So let's start the question. Let's start the qualification of this setup. This is a newly setup. If we understand the concept of this setup, then we can have a very good opportunity with this setup. So let's start. Now, uh, this is a setup interface you can see. Uh, I'll explain you a little bit so that you have no any confusion regarding anything. So just so you can see here, this is the question part. First, you have to read this question. Okay, remember you have to read this question first, and this is the answer for this question. This one in the block, you can see this is the answer for the question. Okay, now remember we have to analyze the quality of this answer. How much the satisfying this answer to the this question? Okay, this is the objective of this app first you have to read the question then you have to read please read the full answer okay else you will be able to do right judgment and in production you will soon get banned for this setup because any relevant setup is a very critical setup and they have a strict criteria for this okay so now read the question then after read the answer once you read this there are rating label available here so we can highlight this by there are five rating labels available um, fifth is perfect Perfect means answer is correct and concise. Remember what they are saying. They are saying correct and concise. Correct is good, but concise is must. Okay. If this both is available, then you only select perfect. Okay. If the answer is correct but not concise, remember concise means uh, you can say minimum word required to answer any questions from a reputed source or from a best source or high authority source. Okay. It's called the concise and correct perfect answer. Example of perfect answer. Okay. Next is good. Answer is correct but not concise. Here answer is correct. And but it's not concise it, it means it have more words which is not required now third point is okay when you select okay okay it's a partial answer for more info okay so i think you understand that okay maybe confuse you so i will give you some tips for this okay means not giving the exact answer but roaming around the answer with the relevant terms it's okay okay partial answer more Info will help means you need more info to get satisfied for these questions. It's called the okay, or we can say incomplete answer is okay. Next is bad. Bad means incorrect or irrelevant. Both is possible. Answer if answer is not relevant relevant to the question, then it is bad. And if it is incorrect, then also it is bad. Okay. Next is impossible. This one is rare. Irrelevant source for the question. Source for the question. Irrelevant source for the questions. In this, uh, this we will learn later on in production. And I think, as per my understanding, it, this is the question where uh, this this is belong to the answer where irrelevant source for the question means the answer we are fetching from the irrelevant source. Okay, so this is called impossible. So this would be rarely, and I will explain later on once I finish the production work for this. Time. It's today published on 16 November. 2022 so let's start the work first so this is the process flow you can understood that first read this question then answer thereafter do writing label and thereafter do submit okay and you can take help of this to cross check the as this is high authority page wikipedia so you can check the answer on this page so let me remove this all now let's understand the question is where is most of the world's gold held this is the question where is the world's most gold is held okay now what we have to read the answer the belgium movement was to ship to gold to safe place decade the capital of Senegal, the part of the french colonial empire are the german occupied belgium and france in 1940 they demand the belgian gold reserve back in 1941 so it is not answering the question vision of the german so i think this is not answering the question you can do a right search 
by site search you can do site search from here to check the any if any answers available the united states mentioned here the united states hold the largest stockpile of the gold okay now you can check here the being government rose to ship the gold to safe place declare the capital of senegal so i think it is not answering the question and it is giving incorrect answer the beginning uh, the belgian government rushed to ship the gold to safe place declare the capital of senegal the part of the french colonial empire okay after the german occupies belgium and france in 1940 the demand in belgium gold is back in 1941 which french official arranged the transport of 494 boxes with 198 tons of gold to official of the german so i think they are saying which is relevant from the scenario the united states would be the answer so in this case select bad and do submit your judgment this one is right Now this is the next question. What does the air gap on the dishwasher? So user is looking for the what does the air gap on the dishwasher? And this is the air gap information you can take from here. This air gap is a scene above the countertop as a small cylindrical fixture mounted parallel with the faucet. Okay, below the countertop the drain pipe the dishwasher feeds the top of the air gap and the bottom. I think this the information is not that much required. It is giving the answer but it is not concise, not brief. So in this case we will go with the option first. I think uh, perfect would be possible. What does the air gap do on the dishwasher? Uh, okay, it is not concise, so we cannot go with the perfect. We have to select good. As answer is correct, but not concise. Okay, as we can see here, this is giving extra informations. So select good and do submit your judgment. This one is right. Let's move to the next question. You have passed the qualification test. So in this way, we have to do this work. Let's see some production hits. What the production hits have? Which types of question we are getting in production hits? It must be understood. Which horse and jockey won the Melbourne Cup in 2002? Media puzzle, Damien Oliver. Which horse and jockey? Users looking for this answer. Okay, the 2002 Melbourne Cup was the one for the winning Melbourne Cup. By Australian Thoroughbred. Okay, so I think this one is. This is a do research by googling any and look for the answer on the page. The 2000 Melbourne Cup was the okay media puzzle trained by, dropped and ridden by. It was won by media puzzle. Okay, look here, media puzzle, and uh, trained by Dermot Weld and ridden by, uh, ridden by Damien Oliver. Who won the Melbourne? Which horse and jockey? Jockey is Damien Oliver. So this one is would be the perfect to submit a judgment. Next is when did 10 digit dialing starts in Colorado? Question is that when did 10 digit dialing starts in the Colorado? And we have to check here. With the exception of origin, all users in the 303720 area code must dial all 10 digits to reach the destination phone, even if that phone is next door. So I think it's not giving the exact time when it is North America. Plan for North America. Okay, we can just do research for this query in a site search and try the answer for this. So on the basis of that answer, we can compare with the Given answer beginning April 24, 2021, call a customer with number in the seven and send in the area codes should start with 10 digit codes. Okay, so this is the answer, and this is not relevant to this, so we will go with a bad, incorrect, irrelevant answer. Select bad and do submit to judgment. Submit it. Let's move to the next query. What does the air gap do on the dishwasher? So I think this question is repeated, and in this, we understood that uh, this is not a concise information, but it is correct information, so go with the good. And to submit a judgment. Next is who is the chief economic advisor of India? Siddharth Tiwari, the chief economic advisor, is the economic advisor of government of India. So it is saying that this person is the advisor of India. So try to research this in the Google or Bing so that we have an exact detail and we will compare that detail. So it is saying Krishna Murthy Venkata Subramaniam. And we have to check here for the a research list or we can whatever available for the Wikipedia page. And we also we know that the Wikipedia page is the most updated page be available here okay now we have a list of the persons so we can see here uh, we are Anthan Nageshwaran and we Krishnamurthy Venkata Subramanyam and both name is not matching with this Siddharthi Bari okay so we will select the bat here and do submit our judgment next is total strength of judges in Supreme Court of India so there are currently 27 judges there are currently 24 judges so I think it is not the maximum possible strength is 34 so it is not really I think it must go with a bad and incorrect answer and do submit a judgment next question is which state is located in the center of India so which state is located in the center of India central India is a loosely defined region of India consisting of the state of Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh central India is a loosely defined geographic region of the India there is a 
clear official definition various ones may used to okay so central india is a loosely defined region of india consisting of the state chatisgarh and madhya pradesh so it is giving the answer which state is located in the center of india so this two so i think this must be perfect do submit your judgment next query is economic is a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life so this is the question economic is a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life is it this answer is exactly perfect good okay for this question or not we have to check political economy or economics is a study of mankind okay here it is asking economics is a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life political economy or economics is a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life understand political economy or economy is a study of mankind in the it is examined that the part of individual and social action which is most closely connected with the attainment and with the use of ma material requested for well being so it seems its answer is perfect so what we do we will just do research for this query and look for the what type of uh, answer we are getting from the search engine so it will make us a confidence economics study the mankind the ordinary business of self life economics is the science which studies human behavior economics is the science which studies human behavior as a relationship between end and scale means which have alternative uses economics can whenever more of the thing okay no see here political economy or economics is a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life it examine the part of individual and social action which is most closely connected with the attainment and with the use of so i think this is little bit complicated so we will do the side search for this answer also principle of economics by alfred marshall political economy is the study of mankind the ordinary business of life so this is chapter 1 by principle of economics by alfred marshall so i think uh, we will bring take here uh, i think well being yes so we will go with the perfect answer and do submit our judgment next question is where does the expression pedations declinary come from okay so a house warming party is called a pedations declinary literally hanging of the chimney hook the expression comes from medieval times okay so this is giving the exact information correct information concise information first we have to check that uh, is it relevant or is it relevant with the question or not so how can we check we can check by the comparison from the different search engines and if you have a, if you have a subject knowledge then we can do by our common sense for this topic so and i think we have a different different type of query so you must use this site search method for the answer comparison in uh, let's see in france a house warming party is called an normally really in english on the sony books the expression comes from medieval times okay now check here so it is giving perfect submit your judgment so in this way we have to do this setup good luck for your qualification work and for your production work and please keep in mind that this setup need concept understanding okay after that only we can do this setup in a good manner without any ban so have a great day and we will meet in the next video